This school in Nairobi, which is uh, actually chilly, uh, surprising, uh, we have commissioned a uh, CBC classroom this morning. But my message this morning, uh, which I want to go to the nation, those children should go back to the classroom. You know, we, they, do they have so much time to come and watch me? The, what I want to state is that uh, we, as a country, are going through uh, a very difficult time. The IBC has... Uh, pronounced itself with regard to the elections uh, basically in Kakamega and Mombasa and some parliamentary ones and MCA ones. But the ones that concern us in education mostly are the, the big ones in Kakamega and Mombasa. We have agreed, having consulted uh, Mr. Jebukati and Mr. Hussein Marjan, uh, that uh, as far as uh, the polling centers are concerned, we are happy to allow them to use uh, our facilities in both primary and secondary schools. But we have also agreed that uh, the telling centers, which may require more than one day, we have agreed mutually that they should be taken to tertiary institutions and the press uh, release will be coming shortly to, to say so. In terms of uh, our children, because we don't want them to miss any more time, we have also agreed uh, as a government, that the boarding schools shall not be closed, they will not be interfered with. Those that are polling centers, the children will remain in the boarding houses, in the fields and the libraries. Uh, as far as uh, day schools are concerned, we think one day is not uh, bad enough. The children can stay at home on Monday the 29th and report back to school on Tuesday, the 30th. For those mixed schools, I'm told that there are a few schools which are both boarding and day. The same will apply. The day, school, the day scholars should remain at home for that Monday to report the following day. The boarding scholars should remain in school and remain away from the polling areas. I think we have all to be very mature about this and I want to thank, uh, to continue to thank the head teachers and uh, principals that uh, we really must now support our children as we uh, walk through a very, very tight schedule. May I very kindly urge the teachers in the schools to be available, especially for those boarding schools where the children may require to be regimented a little bit more than usual so that they are assisted to galvanize the day. And I think together, the 29th will come and pass. The key point here is that, uh, for example, in Mombasa, I think the IBC has a battery of tertiary institutions. The same goes for Nairobi. That is the key point I wanted to pass through. There will be a press release soon after. But I also want to appeal that we still have some very few teachers who are sending children home. It is, it is uh, wrong for us to send children home. There is, for example, a child who has been sent away from uh, is it Dr. Ribeiro in Nairobi. I have details of that child, but because of the privacy, I will keep it quiet. May I ask that principal through this medium to recall all children that they have sent home. Even the boards of management are subservient to the central government. And we have decided as a people for now not to keep any children. And this particular boy is in Form 4. Can the boy be allowed unfettered access to school as you argue and plead with the parents to give you whatever money they are able to collect? Are we together on this one? I will only take uh, questions regarding those two points. Otherwise, we are continuing to... Uh, we are, at, we are approaching 85%. I'm very extremely happy indeed about uh, this process. It, it is a statement that tells you that uh, if we focus, uh, we can deliver. Uh, I think uh, where there are contradictions like Nairobi and Mombasa, Dr. Sarah Ruto is now in Mombasa trying to mop up uh, the coastal region, which is a headache. We are here in Nairobi. We shall soon be spanning out to Western, which is actually the headache, especially Bungoma and Kakamega, and Kisi as a county. 
Otherwise, everybody else is doing extremely well. By the way, Dr. Sarah Ruto will also go to El Geo Maracuete just to, to mop up again because they are at about 70-something percent. So I'm hoping that uh, by that Monday the 29th, we shall have completed this exercise. And it is something that is uh, to the glory of, of our children. So if you have a question that is directly related to what I've just said, please ask. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much for...